video and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have brought my favorite skincare, best skincare of 2018. So let's jump right into this video right away. I think this year, 2018, was indeed the year of toner pads for me. I think I got to explore so many and I discovered some of my favorite holy grails. And you guys are probably familiar with these if you've been with me on this channel for a long time. So let me start with this one. This is the Kudal Green Tangerine by the Sea Toner Pad. Now you guys have probably seen me rave about this a ton of time on my channel. It is my ultimate holy grail toner pad, my favorite toner pad of all times. And I love the fact that it's super hydrating, like the pad itself it is soaked in with essence but it doesn't drip and so it doesn't get messy it's not one of those like soupy types where it's like drenched and there's like tons of essence in it once I apply it I don't need to use a toner because it already feels like I apply toner it's that much hydrating and it's just it just feels very refreshing on my face and what I also love about this one is that I think with the case of vitamin C products you gotta be very persistent and diligent with them to see actual changes in your skin tone but I think that for me at least because I'm testing out so many new other products it's hard for me to stick to one but this one I was able to use pretty much all day and this actually brightened up my complexion along with this one which I'll get to in a second but yeah, I think toner pads are a great way to make sure that you apply some vitamin C so that you can brighten up your complexion. So I absolutely stinking love this one, not only for its hydrating power, but also because it actually works. I could see the vitamin C ingredient working on my skin. Now, along with the vitamin C toner pads, this is the Bella Monster Blemish Care Solution Pad. And this also is a vitamin C pad. This has the ingredient of Galamansi. Galamansi, is that right? I love that this pad is also very, very hydrating without it being very drippy or messy and also I have to give it up to Bella Monster for coming up with this design how genius is this little cap by the way this is an empty one I use this up real good I need to buy me a backup I think now all pad products should be designed like this with a cap because it's so convenient and it just makes your life that much easier and likewise because it had vitamin C it also brightened up my complexion and it was a great way to apply my daily dose of vitamin C this carrot pad or the stress out solution pad is also one that I absolutely loved likewise this is very hydrating this one is more I guess moisturizing because it does have carrot oil like carrot seed oil so I found this to be a tad bit more moisturizing which I really really liked now my favorite product category I guess out of skincare is serum and for this year I do have one serum product that just absolutely blew my mind and it is this thank you farmer true water deep serum this is the only skincare product that made it to both last year best of 2017 and also this year 2018 so well done thank you farmer this is such an amazing serum i absolutely love this so if you guys know i actually did like a social like a market like a social seller deal i was able to get a really good deal like barato like really cheap price of this serum for you guys it was only available in korea but still a lot of you guys really really like this serum and a lot of you guys are asking for me to get that deal again this serum is absolute phenomenal i don't know what it is about the serum that is it's so hydrating and absorbs so beautifully it absorbs without me having to actually absorb it physically with my hands it just seems to seep in immediately this helps with the dehydration dryness uh, it's a great serum to use all year round uh, for me this was a tad bit heavy i remember for the summer but for like the colder seasons this is definitely one of my favorite serums to you so i highly recommend this along with toner pads i think i really got to discover a lot of great oils for me because i have combination to oily skin i was never a big fan of oils just because they just seemed too intimidating but this year i got to open up and explore different types of oils and here i have Three. The first one is the Chicago. The Chicago is like a skincare brand of Aisui. Uh, this is Chicago is Chica Double Effect Ample. Now it does say ample, but it, for me, I associate this strongly more like an oil because it feels like an oil almost. But it is super, super light and it absorbs so beautifully into your skin. And I think if you have dehydration, you will absolutely love this. And even if you have maybe oily skin or combination skin in this cold, you know, dry 
dry weather, I think your skin will absolutely adore this product. Now this has two layers, it has the oil layer on top and this water-based uh, formula at the bottom and this just beautifully hydrates, moisturizes and calms down your skin and it feels heavily once you apply it. So if you were someone who are kind of intimidated by oils like me, try this one out. It will completely change your, I guess, perspective of oils because it's that much light. It does leave a kind of a nice moisturizing barrier, like a residue, but it's not suffocating. It just feels like your skin is being protected really well but without being heavy so this is sold in olive young but it's not available in every single one of them the one that i got was at the seoul national Seoul-de, right seoul de snu seoul national university station like the big one another product that i also fell in love with this year it is the simo tomato oil i got to use this tomato oil because leah was raving about it and she says it does wonders for her hyperpigmentations and so I decided to you know check it out and test it out for myself so I actually did a whole video where I would use tomato oil consistently for a month to see if it worked on my hyperpigmentation and I used it on my right cheek because I do have a little bit of hyperpigmentation pigmentations there and if you guys saw the video it did work and what was amazing about this oil is that it actually plumped my skin up because I was applying it to my right cheek only I could physically feel the difference like in the plumpness and like the elasticity on my skin so not only is this great for hyperpigmentation, but I think this is also great for rejuvenating and making your skin plump again. I did stop using this oil uh, for quite some time around autumn because I was breaking out again and I heard that this was comedogenic. That is such a hard word to pronounce for me. I stopped out of fear that it would just exacerbate my acne. Now I'm back to using it and what I do, I just put two drops of this in my moisturizer and just mix it and apply it all over my face and it feels so nourishing. Now the smell of it, I, I don't think a lot of people would like it at first sight. Myself also, I was very uh, puzzled and very thrown off by the smell. But now I am addicted. It is so earthy and at night when I apply it, I usually apply this at night. It just makes me very, very calm down for my sleep. I think it's a scent that you will actually come around to. This was another darling product of mine this year. I absolutely love, love, love this oil. And not only this, but the whole Yuja line. As you guys know, I launched, I pre-launched the Yuja line with Hanyu this year. And it was so amazing. It just smells fantastically refreshing just puts you in a really good mood and this facial oil is also a superb it's not as light as the Chicago ample it, it does feel a tad bit heavier so I feel like this is a bit more appropriate maybe if you have more drier skin or you would like to try out a very nice moisturizing oil for like the dry colder season but it's not suffocating at all um, it is lighter than the tamano oil so it's like right in between I absolutely love this uh, especially to give my skin that radiating glow and it just felt really really nice and protective this is my second bottle actually. I used the first bottle, rank it right up like water. And this one in particular, because it has yuja, which is a type of like citrus fruit, it, it smells so refreshing. It just feels so fresh, guys. For la creme, first I have the Sigma Madagascar PG Sebum Cream, uh, which is the Sebum Hydrating Cream. They don't have like a separate English name. But yeah, if you've been on my Chanel for a while, this is obviously familiar to you guys. All right, every single summer, I always come back to this. So basically, this is a cream that really just soaks up your sebum. So this is a mattifying cream. So I love using this during the summer, uh, especially around my T-zone where I do sweat a lot and I do produce a lot of sebum. And it has nice texture and it just does a really great job in what it says it does. Another cream that I absolutely fell in love this year is the Make Prem Safe Me Relief Moisture Cream 12. I actually had a giveaway with this one and I did like a social deal with this one as well. And so many of you guys have been telling me that you absolutely love this cream as well. It only has 12 ingredients and it has very calming and soothing effects on your skin. Now what I especially love about this cream is that it absorbs so well onto the skin so that this is the ideal for me. Uh, this is the ideal cream for me to apply before 
for my makeup during the winter. It does a good job in moisturizing and yet it doesn't ball up. And yet it does a, such a good job in soaking up the makeup that I apply on top. So it's a cream that I just keep on falling in love the more I keep on using it. Another set of creams that I absolutely love this year is the Apumato Kasusai Cream. Actually, I brought the whole line in because I enjoyed all of them. So I have the Shika Balm, I have the Mato Kasusai Cream, and then I have the Sika Gel. So they have a catered formula for your skin type. So if you have maybe extremely dry skin or you would like to use this as an ointment or like a part, like a spot treatment, which is how I like to use it, you can reach out for the balm type. If you just want to use a nice regular cream that's not too heavy or too light, you can reach out for the cream. I do like using this at night. And then for like the summer or if you have oily skin and you don't want anything too heavy, you can reach out for the Sika gels. Not only are these affordable, but they work really well. This one especially does amazing job in calming down redness or any like inflammation the textures and the formulas are really great the quality of them is great especially considered how much you're paying for them now this one should be very familiar if you see my acne videos and it is the Medicube red erasing cream this is my ultimate spot treatment. Whenever I have like a huge ass posture growing on my like chin, this is the area where I usually get some action. This is the cream that I would just pop on. Like literally I dump a whole amount and I go to sleep and the next day it has just calmed down completely. This just absorbs all the pus all the sebum and it calms your skin down and then whenever I introduce this product uh, in my videos a lot of you guys actually want to see some like before and after photos so here there are I actually make sure to record it when I had this humongous postural on my chin and it just soothes the baby right down now I do think this is a bit too drying to use like all over your face um, because it is a very potent product so for me, I would only recommend using this as a spot treatment, but yeah, this is something I actually swear by. <laughs> Moving along, I just have to give this Hey Nature Autumn to Skin a shout out. I think this is probably my favorite product to go for when my skin gets irritated, and that is kind of rare. I don't have the most sensitive skin, but these micro dusts in the air are killing it every time. Seoul is a very highly populated, dense city, and we do get a lot of micro dust attacks quite often this year especially and whenever it happens my skin gets itchy and it gets sensitive especially around my cheek areas and so whenever that happens I just apply this all over my face and it does the job it calms my skin down so this is an absolutely wonderful product if you have sensitive skin this and this is my second bottle now mind you this hurts like F once you get this in your eyes so I mean I guess it, it's kind of like that with every other product but this in particular this stings my eye like no other so I always make sure to cover my eyes like this and then spray it all over so yeah just uh, uh, for your information FYI now this year also I got to venture out and try out so many different mists uh, I don't know if you guys remember but I absolutely fell in love with the Carazone AHC mist I stopped mentioning that mist because they stopped making it so I was like what but the mist that I fell in love afterwards that is the Kodali Beauty Elixir Wow guys, this is such a magic potion. This is literally a magic potion for me. I already finished up my travel bottle one, like that one's gone, say bye bye. But yeah, I am actually trying not to use this because I know this is so expensive. So I'm trying my best to use only little by little. But basically the reason why I love this mist is that I love the refreshing sensation it gives me and it just wakens my brain up instantly. It has a minty, fresh smell and at first it can get a bit overwhelming but for me it was a smell that I just completely uh, became bedazzled with enchanted with to be honest this isn't for me personally this isn't the mist that I would use when I want to hydrate or moisturize I feel like this lacked a little bit in that department like it wasn't particularly moisturizing to use especially during this cold winter I felt like this kind of made my skin even more dry so I don't use it as like a hydrating mist but I do use it to uh, refresh myself and it just it just feels really really great the sensorial experience is superb with this one now for the sheet mask is this Hanyul Yuja sheet mask oil sheet mask and 
This is literally my dream she mask. Basically, it's from the same line as the Hanyeol Yuja face oil. It has two parts, so the top part you have the oil, and then the sheet mask is soaked, already soaked in with water soluble formula, water-based formula, I believe. What you do, you just mix it together and you get this beautiful concoction of really rich, moisturizing, hydrating essence. Just to exemplify how good this is, so my sister, she is someone who doesn't do makeup or skincare. The only reason I should wear sun cream and like creams and like serums is because I begged her. I was like, promise me you wear sunscreen. That's how much she doesn't really care about like her skin and she doesn't really put much attention to it. But this is the only sheet mask or the only product at all that she will actively use on herself. So that's how much amazing the sheet mask is. This magically, this miraculously made my sister uh, take care of her skin. I think this is great if you have dry skin especially. I have dehydrated skin, I have combination skin but I also have dehydrated skin in this coldest season so I love wearing this nowadays. Not only is the sheet mask great formula but the actual essence and the oil just feels so nourishing and very rich on your skin so I highly recommend this one. Last but definitely not least of this best skincare of 2018 are these lip balms. If you guys have been watching my videos from the beginning of this year, you guys are probably familiar with this. Do you guys remember I used to wear this like non-stop for the first half of this year? I was like obsessed. On the later half or the second half of this year, I did move on to the one without any color. So this one has a pink tint to it. And this is great if you just want a bit of color to your lips, but you don't want to play lipstick on. I know my sister loves this one as well. Uh, like lip balm and the sheet mask is like the only thing she'll like actively use. These lip balms, I love it because they just give you that right amount, that perfect amount of moisture and hydration. By the time, you actually put on your like lipstick or lip tint or whatever. It has seeped right in, so you don't really need to wipe it off. This gives me the right amount of hydration and moisture. These do feel a tad bit drying, like too drying in this cold season. But for the rest of the year, I absolutely fell in love with these. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this isn't the last video I'm going to post of this year. Don't worry, I have two more videos coming up. But I hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, let me know if you spot any of your favorite products from my list. And if you have your holy grail skincare products to share from 2018, let me know in the comments down below because I love, I love, love, love reading about them. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. And I'll see you guys next. Ciao!